Hey chickies, here at Oh My Gosh Polished Mistakes Will Be Made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so you should totally subscribe now. <laughs> Let's get into today's nail art. We are doing hollow tips. It's a super <laughs> It's a super simple, easy one to do. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the only product I'm using apart from base and top coat today is What's Up Nails Holographic Flakies. They are so pretty. They're quite a fine uh, flaky. They're not as big as the iridescent flakies, but they are so pretty and so hollow and so rainbow and it's just beautiful. Uh, the pot they sent me is 0.6 grams and I think even though it's not a lot of product, but it will go a long way because a little goes a long, long way. So... Uh, I will put links in the description box down below as per usual so you can go and check them out. And yeah, they're not cheap, but a little goes a long way. So it's up to you whether or not you want to get some. But it's so pretty. Anyway, I've already got my base coat on. So now I'm going to be using Sally Hansen's Invisible, which is either a top coat or it's just a clear polish. I'm unsure which it is, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, the reason why I'm using that is that it dries a lot slower than Sesh Feet. So uh, in order to stick down the flakies onto my nail, that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to be concentrating the flakies on the tip and towards the middle and up a little bit more dispersed towards the cuticle line. So we're basically almost pretty much going for like a glitter gradient type effect, but, but like a French tip gradient thing. Anyway, uh, I'm using my fan brush. They are so cheap and easy to find on eBay or Amazon or literally anywhere. You can buy them so cheaply, probably not even for a dollar. Uh, you, they usually come in sets of, uh, of nail art brushes and you know, you can buy a set of nail art brushes on eBay these days for like, I don't know, three dollars. So essentially it'll probably be less than 50 cents for that, for that fan brush if you buy it in a set. So yeah. Um, I like to use the fan brush because I have um, I feel like if I use my fingers I'd be a little bit more heavy handed and I was, wasn't really going for a heavy handed look. So I'm just going to take my Royal Majestic brush and my non acetone remover just to clean up a little bit around the sides. Not, It doesn't create a lot of mess because basically the hollow flakies are only sticking really to the parts where I put that clear polish so really not a lot of mess to clean up. And finally, you want to go ahead and seal all of your gorgeous, hollow, graphic, glittery, flaky stuff underneath a good quality top coat. Of course, I'm using sesh feet as per usual. Now, uh, word to the wise, I would say more than one top coat would be uh, advisable, simply because even with sesh feet, which is a quite thick top coat, I'm using uh, two to three coats of that because sesh feet tends to settle. And once it's settled, like with the first, uh, with the first coat, you then, uh, you, if you rub your your finger over the top of it, you can still feel a little bit of the graininess. So that's why I added two more coats. So I ended up adding three top coats, just so you know. That's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. It is so pretty, so hollow, so rainbowy. It's just yum. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video or whichever video pops up onto the screen. Just click on it and go and watch it. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to sub sub subscribe. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, I think I've had enough. I'm going now. <laughs> Bye.